Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today I'm here to share with you some organizing things that I've been doing. And this is because I'm hosting, along with Susan at Susan Howes Art, this collab that's called Show Us How You Organize. That's the hashtag right there. And it's an open collab and everyone is welcome to participate. So this is the second week of organize, organizing, and if you haven't, you know, participated yet, just let Susan or I know and we'll add you to our participation list under our video where you can check out all the other participants and see what they're organizing and how. It's so fun to watch everyone's videos and get tips and ideas for your own craft space or room. So here are, um, let's see, let me take you down to the prompts. August 19th, that is uh, today, and we are, the prompts for today are ink, adhesive, and tools. So these are not hard and fast prompts. You, This is just to give you an idea of what you could show us. You can mix it up. If you didn't participate last week and you wanted to show us your paper or ephemera, you can do that. Or if you want to move up the ribbons and lace to this week, you certainly can do that too. So, or show us something that's not even on the list. <laughs> We are uh, just organizing, crazy organizing this week, I mean this month. This is just for August. So, um, yeah, so if you want to participate, make sure you subscribe to Susan and I's channels. And I will have all the participants and Susan's channel link below. So, yep, so subscribe to us, link our channels under your video, and we will link your channel in our participation list. So, uh, what I'm going to do this week is take you around and show you some of my tools and my glue and my ink so uh, I don't have very much ink so I'll show you the extent of my like three ink pads and then I'll show you my tools and my glue so I'll be right back so this is my craft table where I craft and I do my videos and you can see my glue there I always have my art glitter glue and my uh, turned upside down in my project basket here because it's almost empty as my Fabri-Tac I have my vintage photo and my uh, corner rounder and this is my little tools like thing of tools this little pencil holder or um I guess it's a it could be a cup right <laughs> it's a ceramic where uh, it has mushrooms on it Maria gave that to me in happy mail one time she sent that to me anyway here's the uh the tools that I keep right on my table that I grab while I'm doing videos or crafting my most used tools you can see there's scissors up uh, there's a marker and there's a uh, my uh you know, all for making, uh, you know, sewing in signatures and getting ready to do that. But there's an exacto knife in there. There's my little blue scissors. I call those my fabric scissors. There's my other scissors that I just use for cutting paper. My ruler, and you never know when you're going to have to file a nail. So I got a nail file in there. <laughs> so uh, anyway, let me take you to some more areas where I keep my other tools. Okay, so like I said, this is the, sorry about that glare. Let me see if I can move. This is the extent of my ink. I don't have a lot of inks, but I have, this is black ink there, that black plastic uh, pad right there, and that's my archival ink. Uh, it's coffee colored, sorry about the shadows. And so, yeah, that's the extent of my ink. So let me take you to my other tool. I guess I can just, without pausing, I'll just move up here on my desk, don't look at any messes. I'm, I'm in the process of reorganizing, so sometimes you create messes when you're reorganizing, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, here is my desk, a little desk that I have over there. Here's my, my blinds are down right, right now, but these are two windows I have right here. And so right here, I keep other tools. Now this is my little collection of rulers, so uh, I usually don't need to grab any from here because I already have that one over there on my table that I showed you. And then here's some other tools I keep in here just in case um, if I'm doing um, like wax seals I've got a, a lighter there and just some other odds and ends tools that I don't use very much and I even so have some sponge brushes in there look at that I didn't know I forgot those were there <laughs> anyway and I have a little some tape down there so other little scissors and pencils and things and that is just a kind of spare stuff that I don't use very much and I'll show you one more drawer where I keep uh, some tools. So this is my official tool drawer where I have all the rest of my tools except for I have in my closet a staple gun and uh, something else. 
some other like big tool like that, like a staple gun and uh, something else I keep in there just because it's big and I, I just keep it on a shelf in there. So anyway, I'm not going to show you that. You can you can use your imagination for that. It's just sitting on a shelf. <laughs> but here's my other stuff. Um, my jewelry tools you see there. I've got my staple remover, just all kind of scissors. I have my scrapbooking scissors in here, my extra uh, eyeshadow brushes that I use for inking, some extra pens. And it goes, it goes kind of far back there. You can, can you see the back? I don't know if you even can. This door doesn't open up. Um, oh yeah, that's the last, see that uh, yellow right there? Let's see, yellow, well, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that blue right there is the last basket, yeah. There's some extra scissors that I haven't opened because they're my favorite scissors and I got an extra pair. I got an extra couple pairs in case, um, I got get them at Dollar Tree and in case they stop, stop selling them, I wanted to make sure I had some to last for a long time. So yeah, I've got some markers and my, I think I have my paint pens in there and glitter pens and things. So that's what I'm calling, what I call uh, my uh, official tool drawer. So now I'm going to show you where I keep my glue. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my official glue storage. <laughs> I just reorganized this. Um, I've been doing some extra reorganizing videos. In case you want to see more organizing videos, I have a playlist called Craft Room Reorganization. Organization, not reorganization. I am reorganizing but my playlist is called Craft Room Reorganization. So I did show you where I had reorganized this uh, dresser top. So it's all nice and, and I do, um, even though, you know, I, I'm using and starting to use more and more containers, I still like everything to be kind of, you know, pretty. So, so I kind of set it up that way to set it up in a pretty way, even though it's very, um, container oriented so I hope that makes sense so over here on this end of my dresser I have my glue so you can see I have I'm kind of paranoid about running out of glue too uh, so I have a couple extra uh, fabric tacks there and a giant I didn't know it was that big that I never got one that big before but there's a giant art glitter glue back there <laughs> when I ordered it I was like or when I got it I was like oh my goodness I didn't know that one's gonna be that big I thought I ordered that size before anyway in this crock um it's not really a crock pot it's a pot that is from the 70s I believe and it's, so it's vintage and it has my favorite thing on there mushrooms and uh my sister-in-law gave me that I've talked about it and shown you that before if you've watched my organization and craft room tour videos and things Anyway, I have, uh, that's where I keep some more extra glue. So all my glue sticks are in there. All the glues that I need to use up that I don't like, like that tacky glue and other glues. I am trying to use those up sometimes when I think about it. And then I actually even have a extra, a little Fabri-Tac in here. So yeah, you can see how afraid I am of running out of Fabri-Tac. Keep it everywhere, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's, but all my glue sticks are in there. And, you know, I don't need any, but if I get another package, I would just open it up and throw them all in there. There's an extra room in there. And then it decorates my craft room, too. So that little pot. So that's pretty much my, um, I'm going to call, what, what I'm calling my uh, tool storage. I do have my scissors contained in another area in a drawer, which I will show you in a future craft reorganization video because it's in something that I um, purchased to reorganizing reorganize my sewing type of supplies so I will show you my sewing supplies and tools in another video oh here's a couple more I keep right here I have shown you this storage before um, I discovered I have this I had this uh, this space here is my closets right here as my closet door and then I you know my dresser's always been here and then I realized oh I have this space and I needed to organize these things so I got these little containers and then these I grab like a lot, like when I'm even doing videos, I'll be like, oh, I wanna make a label real quick. So that's my vintage label maker. And then I also like to grab my crop -a dial real quick. You know, just reach behind me. Here, see, this is my dresser and there's my stool and there's my craft table, right? So I just reach right behind me, grab it during a video if I need to, and it's right there. I'm also always grabbing my tissues. That's, that's that, right, that right there for my allergies. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, take a peek at my craft room reorganization playlist, and uh, I hope you enjoy it because I've really enjoyed reorganizing things, 
and in my own style and on my budget. So thanks for watching today and don't forget to check out the other participants. I can't wait. I've been watching all the videos and it's super fun to just, you know, it, the thing is to um, everybody's craft space is different. So it's neat to like see something like, oh, I can use, I, I can do that in my craft room. You know, it's not like you can do everything somebody else does, but you can do some things and it gives you great ideas like, oh, I never thought of that type of thing. So anyway, check it out and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.